Is there any extra motivation to win those first three games without four fire on the sideline? I mean, we have to win every game every year, so that's that's the focus every year. So, so nothing different about these first three guys? No. Nick, the quarterback y'all are going to get 6'7", 240 pounds, 235 pounds. Seems to be more of a pocket guy, although y'all aren't really sure really what's coming, I would think, Saturday, based on the new coaching staff and stuff. But I don't know, do you guys up front kind of cut, cut your teeth on this kind of opportunity? Or how would you explain it? Uh, yeah, they got two guys. They got a backup who's more of a runner. So yeah. we face a similar thing in practice with Wayne and Tate. So we're practicing both, uh, getting ready for both. Yeah. And, yeah, how much Washington and Colorado tape have you watched uh, compared to Oregon State tape? Uh, a lot, just the runs. Um, just the, I mean, we've been watching the tackles and trying to get a beat on them, but for for like run scheme and stuff like that, we're definitely watching Colorado. Has this been a long preseason camp? Uh, An interesting. How would you describe this preseason camp? Uh, I mean, it's a grind. It's always tough. It's always just. After after camps over, you just want to play a game. And uh, I mean, last week is just another week of practice, and uh, it's you just gotta keep motivating guys and keep keep them grinding because it's tough to just practice and have no reward at the end of the week. But now it's game week and everybody's extra hyped up. The sense is you guys may have an inspiration factor on your on your side. Do you do you sense that too, or you know what I mean from from what's gone on? Yeah, I mean we just. Hate always drives you, and when people are hating, then you just want to prove them wrong even more. So uh, I think, obviously, us ranked number four in the Big Ten is uh, something that we're, we're taking into consideration, and uh, we're excited to go prove that we're the same team. Nick, you said in January that you, know, you wanted to come back and be a leader and work on that, you know, speak, using your voice. And does becoming a captain mean that you've already accomplished that, or do you still have to live up to that now moving forward? I definitely have to live up to it more, but uh, I think just the fact that it's a team vote and that I was on the um, one of the highest uh, people, obviously, um, that just proves that my leading style is working at least a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to keep it keep it going. Did you expect that, or what was it What it was like to hear your name, name called there? Honestly, I, I didn't expect it, but uh, the fact that I am a uh, Seen as a leader among my, my peers is huge and uh, it means a lot. Nick, you, said, brother, uh, you said um, you guys all said during the spring that you thought even with the loss of the NFL, all the defensive ends, your unit could be as good or better than last year. Now that you've gone through training camp, what's your new offense? I think the same thing. Uh, Give me a third down's going to be scary. Yeah, third down's going to be scary. We got Chase and Coop and Draymond on third down package now, so uh, BB's going to be in there. Thanks. Probably see some Tyreek Smith, uh, but we just have so many guys who we could change up and throw in there with speed, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough. It's tough for our line, so can't imagine what it's going to be like for others. Nick, I'm sorry, just to clarify, did you say you Chase Coop and Draymond in a rush package? Uh, that's not it right now, but. Uh, we're we're figuring out the inside guys right now. Okay. But uh, you'll see me and Chase on the edge. Are there ends who can play inside like you guys did last year? Will we see that? Possibly. Soon? Yeah, we got some. Okay. Definitely. Your, your brother, his junior year, was double teamed the whole year. His numbers went down a little bit. Obviously, he was a great player still. Do you think that's in line for you? The teams are going to key on you, or can you have a giant monster year in terms of numbers? because you have other options here? Or are you ready for that? Hey, I'm gonna get double teamed every game. Uh, I mean, I think right off the bat with all the hype that people are making up about me, uh, I think right off the bat, I'll probably get the double teams and the chips and stuff like that. But once Chase is coming off the other edge and Draymond's on the other side rushing three tick, if they slide to me, then it's just gonna be a sack but on the other side. So How they're gonna have to stop. Year? How are you better this year? Just faster. Uh, Moves more refined, just it's just the same same stuff, but a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger, a little bit smarter. Did you work with your brother in the offseason? I trained a little bit with him back home on our break, spring break, and then summer break. We, we know that if if you are drawing chips and multiple blockers, 
you make this team better even if you're not getting the quarterback, right? We all understand how that works, but it's nice to get sacks, right? Totally. It's nice, like, do you want to have a huge number here? Does that matter to you? Or, you know what, as long as the team's winning, obviously, you know what I'm saying, winning think, matters first, but. I think my number one goal is to win a national championship. And however we get there, I know I'm going to be a contributing factor if I'm out there. So um, I'm not dying to get big numbers. I want to make plays and help my team in that way and feel like I'm definitely a big part of it. but. I want to see my other guys put ball just as much. So. I know everybody wins. Everybody in college football wants to win a national championship. Duh, yeah. that's why you're here. But I do feel like with you that like that has just been a goal from day yeah. one. Because I don't know if it's because your brother has one or because you know the talent here. Like, why yeah. has that just been so upfront for you? It's just the, there's no reason we shouldn't win a national championship with. I just sometimes I just look back at who's playing behind me on the defense and I'm just like and then I see Dwayne throwing to our receiving core and Mike and JK in the backfield and our O line that I face every day and know is so much better than the ones I face. It's just like I don't know why we shouldn't be playing for them. What happened in fall camp that leads you to believe that maybe you guys are closer to that national championship? I just think we're more complete. Um, I think I'm starting to see like guys who haven't been leaders break out as leaders, and uh, like Isaiah, Isaiah Prince, um, he's just jumped out of me as a leader on the offense now, which I haven't seen, and we need that with the loss of Jamarco and Billy. So I just I just like what I see with the team. Is the game mean? exactly what this team needs? Just an actual yeah, game? we gotta play. For sure. What does it mean to the team and you to see tough out there coming back from his injury the team all that rehabbing play yeah, we, so soon? The captains actually nominated him as the last captain. So we have a lot of respect for tough and uh, just how hard he works every day. So I mean you hate to see injuries. And so, Nick, do you think he'd be back this soon? I didn't. I thought it was a longer recovery time, but I guess not. Nick, we've talked in the past about you wanting to get in the rhythm and this team having so much depth that was sometimes hard for you in the past. Is that something that you're looking forward to this year is being able to get out there, get in a groove? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely excited to be out there on the first play of the game. Um, and just knowing that I could play mind games with my opponent and really just be out there every series that I really want to be out there. So it's definitely exciting. What percent of snaps for you? What percent of snaps? Uh, however many I could handle. That's it. One more. That's it. Pete Warner, one of those players behind you. What did you see this camp that front end? What do you think one He just does everything right and he's really fast, really smart.